Welcome back folks, uh, this is uh, lesson 59 and I'm carrying on with my uh, sky theme, this is the I think number 7 or yeah, probably number 8 and uh, I think we'll have a break after this one but uh, what I want to do today is uh, tackle this in a, in a certain way, it's it's going to be a, 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 a snow scene of a, of, a, of a creek if you like with snow and I want to have an evening sky just catching this it's probably just appearing just around here reflecting in the water and just I've, I've masked out these these trees here these uh, silver birches if they like they come in clusters like this they do and I've masked them out because I don't want to sort of have these a light area but I'm also going to put sort of some you always get a lot of Burnt, burnt umber, burnt sienna on 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 these as 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 shrubbery. So we might introduce that as well, and some distant, distant shrubbery over there, and then see where we go with the foreground. That's the plan, folks. <laughs> uh, but the best made plans of mice and men. But we'll see how we go. The colours we want today is. I'm using a, a different blue today. I'm, I'm using a, 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 a cobalt blue, which which is a lovely nice blue for for winters I think the cobalt blue, the lizard crimson which I've used a lot raw sienna or, or ochre whichever one you've got I prefer the sienna if you've got it as opposed to the ochre because uh, raw sienna is, is transparent and ochre is a bit uh, uh, a bit opaque and that you can see through this which is pure for watercolour it's beautiful and then a little bit, of, just a touch of burnt sienna and burnt umber that's the plan. We'll see how we go, shall we? Get that out of the way and we'll start. The first thing I'm going to do is just the sky first. This is the approach I'm going to take. I'm going to try this the sky first. That's all down to there, down to there. Get that sorted out. Probably with the sky put the some water in here with the reflections and that. And then we can tackle the trees and, and the snow area with a bit of look. So off we go. So let's take it from there, shall we? I always like a decent sized brush, you know that. This is my number 20. Just wet the scar a little bit, I think. First just a slight in the dust. I've masked out those uh, Silver version because I want them to stay white. And the bits I don't want to stay white, I can, I can paint them afterwards, can't I? But this is basically just covering the sky with, with clean water. And we'll take it from there. Then bush at the back, we'll, we'll cover those as well and we'll sort that out afterwards. I'm sure we can do it. We have a, a good Good day today. It's a beautiful day outside for February the 23rd. So we're not doing too bad this this winter, I think. Everything's out and looking lovely. The spring bulbs are coming up. The crocus are out. The snowdrops are out. And everywhere's lucky, looking lovely. Well, I think so anyway. I'll put a bit of water down here. Just keep the See if we get some flow down this piece as well. It's amazing how, how uh, th this helps on a, on a paper. Th th I, I use uh, Saunders Waterford uh, rough. It is. It's. I'm using 200 pound rough this time. Uh, it's. Uh, it it didn't want stretching or anything like that. You can just go for it, and that's what I like. Right, let's start at the top, shall we? And work our way down. This is a touch of. I'm going to put some cobalt blue in the top, right at the top here. Right, then I want to go in the... I want to go onto the horizon and, and come upwards. No, no, I think I'll, I'll put the sienna in first, the, the raw sienna in first and do a band of sienna across here like this.
that there. I don't want to sort of do a panel of alizarin crimson there, right at the base of this. I love colours, you know, beautiful. I get excited when I'm painting with, with colour. Just love it. Not in the snow though. So we'll see. Uh, there's a bit more alizarin crimson here. Right, I'll just get that brush out. I'm going to try and do a, a little, little pokey out bit. with some tissue say about here a bit of pokey out stuff see how we go with just mould around it Now raw sienna. I'm just trying to create a create a, a sun going down. Do not want any any brightness from it. Just a I'm trying to keep the the, the hole, but, uh, but I'm not very much look. I keep filling it in. <laughs> See, I'm not to worry. We'll sort it. Don't you worry. We will sort it out somehow. Someday, some. Have another twin on that. That's better. That's what a bit more I want. I'm just shooting clean water and a brush just to take the harshness off that edge. Right, I want to replicate some of this now in the water. So we've got to sort of recreate that. So the water is wet, isn't it? The the area here. So let's try and put some stuff into here. Get the sienna in. enjoy this you know I think you'll enjoy this one not a lot but you will I'm just tempting all these colors I've got in the, in the sky into this area I think I'll have some more water down here let's introduce the cobalt in here as well See if I can lift some of that this colour out here. Touch 
Well, there is in crimson there from that piece up there. And then a sort of a path of reflection of, of the sun. Broaden it out a bit as I come down here. Right. Leave that a bit for now. Let it dry up. And then we'll look at something else. If I, well, it's still damp though. I might try to just get in that distant, distant uh, shrubby stuff like that. I think I'm going to use some uh, uh, cobalt blue and the alizarin. Let's see if we can put in some this distant. Distant stuff around here. This, there's this stuff here. See this this lovely paper I'm using. The 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 the, the sky is 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 it's absorbed so much water. It's like a sponge, and it's it's allowing it's giving me more time. When you use a, a sort of a, a sort of a, a less expensive paper, you'll find that you, you, it, it's more difficult to paint because it it, it dries up quicker, and, and then you're struggling to get this, this softening effect in the distance. So bear that in mind when you're uh, when you, you're choosing your paper. It it is a, a it, it's worth an extra extra if you can afford it. And I'd sooner buy one good one than two bad ones. Put it that way. And this is this allows it to it's it's like a sponge it's softening in it's 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 muting just as I want it to do. I want to pick out that a bit more of that distance there. I'm making this up as I go along, by the way, folks. I don't uh, don't think I know what I'm doing. It's and that that is whether the uh, the silver birch are it'll be a bit dark there, so so we'll enjoy that bit. And this is dark down here. Got a bit of a mess there, so I'm going to try and straighten that out. That'll help. And of course, it'd be nice if you had a little bit just here, wouldn't it? Just here. Just using the side of the brush, it's, it's, the paper is still wet, as I say, and it, it's 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 making my job easy, which is what I like. I don't I don't look for, for hard work. Let's just just keep that around there, keep that snow line going. I think I can go in front of that that uh, setting sun, let it appear over it. But if I make it weaker. It'll give the impression that the the sun is burning or it's burning through it. In other words, it's it's it's, it's taking out the colour. If I get some colour to start with, it's not having as much effect. See here, it's darker and darker. But where the sun is, these bushes are up up. Purely because it's, it's washing it out because the sun is coming through it. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. So that background, now we, 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 we can leave, or, or what we can do also, other things we can do is, uh, as I said, this is this is sky, sky, doing our sky stuff. Let's see if we can find one. Yeah, I've got a, I've got what they call a, a craft knife here. This is a, a craft knife. Uh, it's a sharp blade, so be careful with them. And I'm, I'm going to try and pull out some some little bits of. It might be a bit too early. It's still too damp. I'll have to leave it a bit. Yeah, 
Yes, it's, it's, it's a bit early, but that'll leave it a while. But that's, that's just a, a sort of a thing you can, you can do. In fact, you can also use uh, Carol's credit card. That works as well. Look. Carol didn't realise how good this credit card is when it's not spending. Right, draw a bit of dark in there now to sort that out a bit. That could be nice. Browns in there. I'm, I'm going to use some. This is burnt burnt umber, and I'll use a touch of that uh, cobalt blue into it. That's something could be a bit a nice juicy dark. And I'll flick some of that in here. It's a different layer for you. It's in front of that blue stuff. It's a nice layer. Right, put a burnt sienna onto that now. Gives a nice glow. It's winter's not always cold, you know. It, it, it can look, look quite nice as well. So let's see how we're going with that. That'll take us in the distance there. Yes, that's dried a bit now, so we can press on with something else. I think I'll, I'll, I'll put in the snow first and then take these trees out, and then we can put something on top of that. But I'll just put the, not, not really painting snow, what, what I'm trying to do is, is create a sort of a, well, it's, it's a shadow I'm creating, not the snow, it's, it's the shadow. And the, and the shadow colour, of course, with that kind of sky, will, will be basically at this end, with this, this cobalt blue, but don't, only faint. So don't, don't go mad and, and, and do lots of, lots of high colour with it. So we're going to get some shadows, aren't we? All coming down to this water's edge, of course. I love shadows, you know, it, it gently brings your painting to life, it does. If you get down painting on this edge here, I love that. that's a bit bluey that, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pinch a bit of that uh, that burnt sienna and take a bit of the heat out of that just a touch of course he colours us some darker colour in there Of that. Oh, 
pick up people, pick up, pick up some of the uh, the alizarin with this, with the colours behind it as well. Of course, in this. test paper, but I always have a test paper because it's easier to, to muck up the test paper than ditchy painting, isn't it? It's probably a bit better. Picking up some of these sky colours. Shadow there, so the sun's over the top there. We'll we, we create a shadow on the, the edge of the lake there, not the lake, the, the creek, or whatever it's called. Of course, we're going to get some down here, aren't we? Coming down to the water's edge. trees there. We can expect some shadow up there, can't we? And of course sometimes you get some this sort of thing, reflections in there as well. might seem up as a bit of a sequence and of course the sun's coming down there so that there's going to be shade a lot of shade on this this bank here and this will catch this piece here let's darken that I'll have to darken some some darkness down here this is this is a touch of burnt umber in, into the into the mix now to it's where the water's edge is there's usually a bit of mud showing. I know it's not I know it's not very romantic mud but but we're stuck with it. Where the crevices are, and it in comes the mud. There's some in that bit there. That little bit of, bit of mud, it, it, you might think it's, it's, it's odd, but it gives it some shape, extra shape to your picture. Probably just get a touch on the, the bottom of this here. I think I'll leave that because it's pushing that, that bit's pushing back. I want to push it back. I don't want it to jump forward with mud. So we'll see where we are. So we're coming forward with that. Now also, on this snow, we, we're going to get uh, some of the colours from the sky, aren't we? Don't forget that. So I can see, we can see some uh, raw sienna. That's the, that's the, the top colour on that, won't it? So we'll pick up some raw siennas down here, won't we? On these, 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 when it's catching the the banks, where it's exposed to the the sun, it's amazing. You know, when you're doing your winter scene or, 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 or snow scene, there's not much white because it's, it's picking up colours, which is which is lovely. Where the highlights are, they're catching there, catching there, catching in the front of that one. Probably basking on this one as well, just here in the foreground. And then 
nice sliver down there as that comes out of the bank. And of course the next thing we've got in the sky, what is it? We've got some alizarin crimson in there, so we better put some of that in, haven't we? Don't go mad though, it's a strong colour this, so just uh, just a little touch, to, well, very weak I should say, not a little touch, very weak. And we pick up the snow in here like this, like Because it's, it's tainting all, all the colours as it, as it comes towards you. Because what's in the sky is, is, is on the floor as well, because it's reflecting. And we're going to get these, these pinky colours and that all over. the colour down here. Soften the soften the edge with some water if you if you're not happy with it. In fact, I think this, this corner here, we, we'll just quieten it all down. I think we'll have a nice, a nice dark blue corner here, like this. But we'll have some colour into it as well. That was the cobalt blue, and then I just, because I wasn't happy with the cobalt on its own, I've put some alizarin crims in it. And I'm not happy with that because it's still too bluey, I'm going to put a little touch of burnt sienna into it. We still don't need even more. That's lovely. That's, that's brought that forward. This is this is some somewhere near the foreground and we, we, we still have this strong stuff looking at what's in the distance. We're trying to create depth. Right, let's have a look at these these silver birches. Now, I, I use it, my finger to get it off, but I understand that there are, there's some special stuff that you can take it off with. I haven't, I haven't used any yet because I don't know where it is. Apparently, apparently it's called a, 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 a pick up cement or something, something like that, anyway. And, uh, Someone uh, on, on my, my, one of my friends has said it's wonderful stuff. But, but these are American, American. It's American lady, and uh, I don't know whether they have it in our country in England. So I, I just don't know. I don't. I don't come across it myself. But. But being a Yorkshire, my finger cost me nothing. So, and that, that's worked, as I look at it. Yeah, yeah it's worked fine. That. Uh, now this one. Well, no, before I do it. Yes, I, I think before I do that, and I should have done it before that. I, I want to, that sky's not, it's too nice up there. I'm going to sort of, I want to darken it a bit to, to make it more wintry. So let's see what we've got here. Club it around here. Yeah. See if we can get darkness on there. A little bit of colour into that. This is the same colour when I'm going over it. I'm just trying to sort of make it. It was it was it was a bit too pretty. Let's soften the bottom of it. It's a bit better, I think. It looks darker, and it's, it's coming over now. It was just, it just flopped, it flopped there. Because what you're trying to create, you're trying to create this this thing, that, that sky at the top, instead of being like, I wanted to go like that, and coming over the top, towards you. And the, the darkness does that. 
Right, let's have a look at these conifers. Uh, conifers. These uh, silver birches. I'll leave that bit at the bottom there. I want to protect it for a bit. I want to try and do a bit with them. Let's a fine brush. A number three rigger, that should do the trick on these. Just have a dip in that. I've got some uh, Payne's Grey there, which, which is nice for just twiddling with. And just see the sun's there, so the, the light, the dark is going to be this side. So let's put a bit of a dark in these. Better get some twiddly bits on these, don't you? The, on the on the uh, silver birches, like like knuckles. Put some uh, a bit of a bit foliage on this now. I'm going to use a, a stiff brush. This is a an old oil painting brush I've got. Yeah, I've got them for years, you know. These things. Let's just because on, on on the silver birches, the, the leaves do tend to hang on, don't they? Well, they do where I live. They might not do, and I. Tell you what, the finest that we're talking about trees. I've been fortunate enough to go to New England three times, and uh, you've got to be on a, on a, a sort of a a correct week to get the the the, oh, the wonderful colours that they they, they do. Because I've been twice, and and we we got it a little bit the the autumn tints there, the golden colours, but. But one week it was just breathtaking. I've never seen anything like it in my life. And I'm glad I saw it. And, uh, well, but it, it, it's, it, well, America's a, a fantastic country. It's, it's the colours are fantastic. I, I, I enjoyed it, yeah, lovely. And, uh, and also I think we can put in some, I want to put in some, in, a, a bit of dark in there as well. So I've got some, Burn timber, like we said on the sheet, touch your burn timber in there and put some that cobalt with it. Should get, should get quite a nice dark then. Let's have a look, that's not bad. Dark and then if I can. That'll do. Right, okay, let's do something with this one as well. This, this tree here. It's a, just an old, old brush, and it, uh, it tends to give a nice it's a mist effect. I think I'll put on that dark stuff in the bottom. Some of this more masking fluid. Let's 
sculpt it a little bit. Lovely trees, silver birches, aren't they? They crisscross and do exactly what they want. You get a bit showing through the trees. It goes up. Because what I ought to use is that, that, that brush that my, my mate brought me, brought me. He said, lovely brush. <coughs> I use it a lot now when I can find it. Don't like the effect I've got with this this scratching with that that, uh, that craft knife here. So I'm going to try and res rescue it. it. It looks it looks a devil, to be honest with you. Uh, as I say, things don't always go right, folks. So you've got to do what you can and try and put them right. So we all make mistakes. So I'm going to try. What I'm going to try and do is put some darker stuff in there, and that will sort of hopefully cover some of that. that uh, that that cover that to uh, them scratches up there and i'm going to use that burnt umber that'll be nice and dark i'm going to mix it with some some cobalt blue Let's see if we get a nice darky brown there that's what i want more of the brown, less of the blue. Perhaps a touch of a touch of alizarin in there as well, because it gets that glow from the sky, then doesn't it? Well, that's my theory, anyway. See how we go. See what we've got. Might be a bit too not enough browning, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's not bad that. I'm going to just go with this up here like this. I'm just, I'm just covering these brown, these scratches. That's what I'm doing, folks. It's, it's not sort of brain surgery. This, it's, it's just a, a touch of rescue. And take that knife off me if you see me with it again. I think I'm better with it with Carol's credit card. It's not as bad. Right, put a bit of dark, let's get a bit more dark into that now. Of course, it's handy that uh, masking fluid still being on because I'm not, not messing my trees up, am I? Thank goodness you went that side. So don't despair, folks. There's always a way. <laughs> I'm painting this. I was doing a big show in, uh, in in London, and there was about well, a thousand people sat there waiting, watching, watching me paint and that. And I painted this this with, with trees and that. 
and then I put some people in, like you do, friend Mabel. Um, when I looked, they were so tiny, the people who got sight of the trees, I thought, oh, blimey, I've blown it here. It, it was obvious they were too small. And I thought, what am I going to do here? And I didn't want to finish it up. I, I thought, right, I, I, I think on my feet, like you do. And I said, right, that's the children in, so I think I'll put the adults in now. Oh, it got me out of it. So I put two bigger people in. And it looked all right. Thank goodness. Thank goodness for cheating. I don't know. Anyway, that, that, I think that looks a bit better than what it did. Before I take that top bit off, I think well, I'm going to try an experiment here because it, I like I like doing things differently. Uh, I'm going to put some of this, some brownery on the top, and uh, and then then take the branches through it. Be a good idea, wouldn't it? Worth trying. Dirty old brush. I lost my brush. It's gone, you can't find it. You won't believe it. Find it, couldn't find it, folks. So I'd have to use this thing here, yeah, a funny little thick brush here. Yeah. I'll try this and solve my problem. I'll find that when I finish it. I don't need it. Right, so so, so this this tree up here, put some put some stuff on it. This is called a fan brush, if you've ever seen one before. It's, I think they're all right, you know, but I won't lose any sleep if I haven't got one. Very windy day today. I don't know if it's coming across on the recording, but it's it's, 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 a, it's a quite nice nice day. It's, it's about ooh, for this time of the year. It's, it's about 13 or 14 degrees, so it's not bad. But uh, but it's blowing like mad. That'll do. You watch the pull that brush and I'll find it. My trouble is I've got too many brushes. There it is. I know I'd find it when I didn't need it. down the bank here. Same with this one. Anchor it. Anchor it to the bank. And with this one as well. You're probably picking up uh, jet sounds on the on the video as well. That is our friends from uh, Mildenhall at the American Air Base there who do their practicing over the coast, usually on Tuesdays. So uh, it, it, it's a bit noisy 
the, the few minutes or so, but that's nothing. In fact, it, it's, it's quite quite interesting. I did a, a, a demonstration for the, the 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 wives on the well, the wives on the base of, uh, of there, and it's it's of course they're all American people, and uh, I had a lovely time. But you won't, you won't believe it. I, I had to uh, to get on the base. I had to show my passport. It's 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 it's, it's American, see. So very uh, American land. So so that's it. You show your passport, or you don't get on the base. It's quite interesting. And and the the, the deal in dollars. That the American money is not not English. I had no American dollars. There again, I wouldn't buy anything, so it didn't matter. But quite quite a bit of fun. I had a lovely time. And they let me off without any trouble. Right. I think that's about enough fiddle on there. It's a bit fiddly this one. But I might just take a bit of that off there. I want to get me my son back. That's not stopping me. Got it back. It's amazing what you can do with this paper, folks. It's, 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 it, I do recommend it. It's, it's lovely stuff. That's the trees done. That's that done. This some I've got some grasses here which I, I ought to do. Put a bit of dark against them. I use that brush, I think. Guess I can. Yeah. Try a bit of dark on there. See if I can get them just two bits up there. Clicky bits. Well, they always think that these things in the water aren't doing, don't they? Of course they do. Now these are rocks which are showing, but out of the water, out of the creek, if you like. There'll be this sort of thing. Dark on this, a bit of dark on it. A bit of shadow on these, uh, touch of shadow on these, the snow here. It's against the light, isn't it? It's only, it's only a fiddly bit, but it, 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 it shows if you don't do it. It's catching the snow on top, but it's in shade as well, in the front. So we can get that sorted out. Uh, that's all we've got here. We've got these things. I want to sort of do something a bit more with this. I 
found my trusty little brush which is ideal for doing stuff like this this is this is uh, sort of reedy stuff you know which is lovely before I do that though I might, I'm gonna try and this this water's too nice so I'm gonna make it unnice or less nice whatever you like to call it I'm gonna break up that that, that with, with ripple sort of thing so we're going to get some areas of ripple in here, I think. Ripple, see what we're going to get. Mind the bit what the sun's catching. Too pretty, I had to sort of kill it off a little bit. And that just breaks up the up the line. And I've kept away from where the sun's catching the, the water. Just put some darks in where I where I feel is necessary. Under these these banks where they come down to the water's edge is it's, it's quite a nice spot to put some darks. Anyway, this front here, I want to bring it forward even further. So let's let's just uh, just bring this forward because I want this 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 water to to come towards us just here, just here, this dark bit here. Because this is the furthest away from the sun, so it's going to be a bit darker, isn't it? And it brings it. What it does, it it, it brings the water towards you instead of being flat. It shows aerial perspective. So this bit here, it says it's really dark. This I want it dark. And that 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 is is now much nearer to me than that is, and then that is good into the distance, which is just what I wanted. That's lovely. Don't mind that at all. Anchor these, these rocks. line of I'm, I'm getting to the fiddling stage but uh, if I don't finish yet don't you worry I want to get this right a thin line of dark under there thin line of dark under there where's the water's edge Get some, something dipping into there. Just twiddling in there. A little bit under here. Right. I'm going to anchor these. Anchor these a little bit, and these. And uh, there's some things going up into the into the distance there. The, the, the little bit of a twiggery, bits of twiggery there. Can you see them just here? So I'm going to try and just emphasise them bits there. I, wonder, I mean, I, I might be overdoing this, but I'm, I'm going to try something. I, 
I haven't tried this before, but uh, as it's as it's a lesson, I think we should try it, don't you? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So we don't we don't try anything. We never we never we never make any mistakes, will we? So let's try it, shall we? I've got my brush in, and, and I've got this twiddly brush, and I've dipped it into the into the into the the, the white gouache. See if I can put a little bit of white on it, where the snow is 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 catching it. Will it work? No, I don't know. We'll see. I like doing things like this because it's uh, when I haven't done anything before. For like this, it's it's a, it's it's, a, it's, a, it's nice for me as well. And now I'm looking for things to do, and I'm fiddling. But I don't like where I've taken that ring out there. We're gonna have some more brown in there to take some back into it, because it's it's gone uh, it's, it's gone too much like the like I've, I've done it on purpose, which I have. But we'll see what we can sort it out. See if we can get something, some semblance of normality in that bit. Get that bit there. Let's see. A bit more brown. In that there. And I know I'm fiddling, but uh, I'm, I'm having some fun. So I was wondering if I could. In no, I shouldn't say I need to try and introduce. A couple of conifers up the background there. Is it, is it, is it, is it too much? Oh yeah, yeah. Stop, stop. Yeah, I should have stopped about half an hour ago, but uh, we'll see. There's no birds in this. That's because it's a, it's a lonely picture. Uh, so we, just to recap, folks, what we what we tried to do, what we did, we did the the the, the blue sky first, and then come down into the uh, raw sienna, then introduced the uh, alizarin crimson, and then popped out a little bit for the what was what was the dying sun, and brought this this colour down into the water just here, around here. Then the next thing we tackled was the, the the background bushes here and stuff like that, which I scraped them with a knife and made a pig's ear of it. So don't do that in future. That's that's a, a lesson for you. And uh, and then we went on to these conifers, not conifers, silver birches, and scratched them out. I, I mushed them out with masking fluid to keep the whiteness, to be honest with you, like that. Because it's nice, and attracted that whiteness. And just put the leaves over the top of them. And then, of course, with the, the snow, with the sun being low like that, and the, the light being red and col golden colours, all these colours are going to be onto your snow there. So all these colours are reflected back onto the snow, which is, which is, which is lovely. And you get these colours. You don't get much white, as I say. Some one or two bits of white on these rocks in the, in the river there, or in the creek, whatever you like to call it. And, uh, and hopefully, well, hopefully, I hope you've enjoyed that one, folks. I've enjoyed messing about with it. Uh, but that's all for today, folks. Uh, if you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one, whatever it is. Bye-bye, folks. Bye-bye.